Hello and welcome to my final day studying abroad. I am doing this voiceover back at home now, so I already miss this just watching these clips. But I started off by getting ready. Um, I did my makeup and then I also picked out my outfit. Good morning. Um, I still have bedhead. I haven't finished getting ready, but today is my final full day studying in Bristol, England. And it's just insane because I feel like I just was moving in here and I was looking through my journal, like looking at my entries from the first few days here and it's like, was that seriously in September? I'm really excited because my mom's coming a day earlier than expected and we're gonna do like a little bit of driving up through England to see the north a little bit and I'm really looking forward to it. Today I've got several things to do. I need to take an LSAT prep test because I've been taking a prep test one day, a prep test the next day, then I take a day off. Then two days in a row of prep tests, then a day off. So I need to do a prep test today. I need to study for my psychology exam, which is my last final that I haven't done. So psych is my only class I have to worry about. And then I need to pack. I need to do my laundry, trash and vacuum and everything. And then I also need to write like a mini essay for a contest I want to submit to. And then I also want to make my mom a Mother's Day card. Oh, and I need to practice violin. So it's going to be a busy day. Um, and right now I'm going to make breakfast. Uh, or actually I might do my hair first. <laughs> Alrighty, I am sitting down to take my LSAT test. This will take three hours. Um, it takes two and a half hours to actually take the test and then another half an hour to like go through and check and review all of my answers. I'm going to be taking prep test 63, I think. No, 65. Let's hope that maybe today will be the day that I actually come out of this feeling really good about it. Wait, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing prep test 65. I vaguely recognize a couple of these passages. So maybe I'll go back to one of the earlier ones. I just finished taking the test. I've been taking a lot of prep tests and I've been like, I've hit this plateau. Like I cannot get above my record score. And I just scored four points above what my previous record had been. And now I'm just gonna be sad because I feel like I won't be able to get this score again. But it gives me hope, you know, like it's possible now. So I'm really happy about it. I always need to get out of my room after taking an LSAT. So I went down to Beacon House to do some studying and I took out my psychology notes. I just have a ton of typed notes. In total, it's about 72 pages because I have different um, documents for each week of lectures that we had. So I reviewed some of that and went over diagrams to try to get more familiar with the topics that I would have in the exam. And then after that, I needed to get my laundry done. Doing laundry, I feel like there's always an issue that comes up. Um, and you'll see shortly what issue came up this time while I was doing my laundry. But while I waited for my clothing to wash, I went back up to my room to start making the Mother's Day card that I wanted to make for my mom. And um, I just did like simple bubble letters and then like a cursive script uh, underneath the bubble letters and then flowers all over the front. Um, I don't remember what I put in the middle of the card. I don't show it in this video, so I, I, I can't tell you. But yeah, I'll show a final clip of that later, and then I went down to check on my laundry. I guess you can't see it, but my clothing just finished in the dryer. Oh, there's hair. And it is still soaking wet, so I have to put it in for another load, which is really annoying. So in between, while I was waiting for my laundry to actually finish up, I went and practiced violin, and this was the last time I got to use this music room, which is so beautiful, and I really miss it already. After the second cycle, it's still wet, so the dryer is just broken. I've resigned myself to that fact. Um, yeah, because look at the steam coming off this. Which is going to make packing um, a lot more difficult because I was going to pack tonight and I'm going to have to let this all sit in my room and dry because this is still so wet. Fortunately, the dryer is only 80 pence, so that one's not as expensive. It's not like I spent a ton of money on two cycles. So I'm not even showing everything because like half of it is undergarments on my floor, but there's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> Now that it's spring, I've been going for walks a lot if it's like warmer than 60 degrees in the evenings. So I'll show you like the usual route that I've been going on. Um, I like to go down through Clifton Village and then across the suspension bridge. I'm not usually afraid of heights, but I, whenever I cross this, I can't help but think, what if this bridge were to collapse? Because we're really high up. Thank you. 
This is the view coming back over the bridge, um, back into Clifton. And then I walk down to the village, um, back to my room. There's still for the coronation a ton of flags out. And now the rest of the video is actually a completely different day, but I want to show move out. So this is when my mom arrived and we finally packed up and I left my room. I never even got to finish on writing, but there's a PDF online so I can finish it. Okay, this is gonna be really random because I was just recording and it was like my last day of studying abroad and my whole room was decorated and now it is empty. So I'll just show you how barren it looks. Here is the before of my room. I wanted to put it in just to kind of memorialize it. And the after clip is just so different looking. It's strange how easy it is to forget what it looks like, you know, when I first arrive in the fall. I'm gonna miss this room. Oh, that is a heavy suitcase. It's heavy even to roll. Library books and a broken suitcase. Interstate. <laughs> oh. That's not gonna stay. <laughs> I guess I could be helping you. <laughs> So this is the last shot I will have of Sinclair House right here. All these pretty blue, pink, and yellow houses. 